Hi guys, in this uh, video I'll be looking at the solutions to question number 4 for biology paper 2 for internal candidates for the year 2020. Question 4, figure 4 shows structures of two neurons. We have uh, neuron 1 which is labeled uh, P and uh, Q. Then we have an arrow which is uh, showing the movement of the electrical impulse. Then we have uh, neuron 2, which is not labeled, but it's showing the movement of uh, the electric uh, impulse. So uh, the questions which were asked on question 4, we'll start with uh, part A, 1. Identify the two types of neurons shown in figure 4. So we have uh, neuron 1 and neuron 2. So neuron 1 is, of course, the motor neuron. Uh, which we can tell because this one appears more like a tree you have uh, the cell body here with the dendrites covering then we have the axon which is more like a uh, stem which is long then connecting to an effector which of course is showing muscle fibers so neuron one here is uh, the motor neuron then neuron two this has got uh, many uh, links or it's multipolar mean that uh, this one is a multipolar neuron or the relay neuron so we can write the answers down so for one and the two uh, next part uh, which is a2 uh, state the functions of part uh, p and q in neuron one so Part P, these are the dendrites, and the function of the dendrites is actually to receive electric impulses from neighboring cells, such as the renal neuron, and transmit it to the cell body. Then for part Q, this is actually the main sheath, which is surrounding the axon. So this one acts like a, an insulator. Just like you, any electric cable, you're going to find a plastic uh, uh, wrapping around with the wire inside which acts as a insulator. So if you look at your headsets or your phone charger, it always has a, a plastic which acts as a, an insulator to prevent from electric shock. So we can now write down the solutions. Uh, next part uh, B1 what do you understand by the term reflex action so a reflex action is just simply an automatic response to a stimuli so whatever you respond to automatically without thinking about it that is what we are calling as a, a reflex action Next part, B2, give one example of a reflex action. So there are so many examples of a reflex action. We can have uh, blinking, we can have a knee jerk, or withdrawing of the arm from an ob object. For example, when you touch the plate which is hot, without you knowing, you are going to pull your hand away. Uh, also salivating when you smell food, all those are reflex action. Swallowing, coughing, all these are different reflex action. So here, since they were only asked for one, I'll simply write blinking, but you can write any of those which I've mentioned. Uh, next part, B3. Describe the path taken by an impulse from the receptors to the effectors. So here, when we talk about the movement of an electric impulse, it will start with the a receptor which can be a sense organ for example the skin the eye the tongue then the electric impulse will be moved to the sensory neuron then the sensory neuron will transmit the impulse to the relay neuron across a, a synapse then again the relay will then transmit the information to the motor neuron then the motor neuron then delivers the information to the effectors which can be either the muscles or the gland so that an effect can take place.
so that is how the uh, path will actually move from the receptors to the effectors so these were the solutions to question number four for biology paper two for the year 2020 for internal candidates thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video you can also share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel if you've not yet subscribed so that you don't miss out on any latest video which i upload i'll see you again in the next video bye for now